Hey there, Titans. Welcome back to another Titan Academy video. In today's video, we will learn how to configure SSO using Salesforce as your identity provider. This will allow your Salesforce users to log into a Titan web project using their Salesforce credentials, and we can even pass information back from our Salesforce user to our Titan project. So let's see how we can set that up. The first thing we need to do is head over to Settings, Integrations, find the option for SSO, and click on Authenticate. Over here, we have two values that we will need to use in Salesforce in configuring SSO. The first is Access URL, and the second one is Service Provider Entity ID. So let's head over to Salesforce, go to Setup, and the first thing we need to create is an SSO certificate. So I'm going to search for Certificate and Key Management. And I'm going to create a new self-signed certificate. We can give this any label. I'm going to call it Titan SSL. And let's hit Save. Now we can download our certificate, which we will use later on. Next, we need to create a connected app. So let's search for Apps, App Manager, and New Connected App. Over here, we need to give our app a name. I'm going to call it Titan Project SSL. And an email, which is my email. Next, we need to enable SAML. So I'm going to hit Enable SAML. And over here, we have to input both of the values that I mentioned earlier from our Titan dashboard. So the first one is Entity ID, which I'm going to copy and paste under Entity ID. Next is the Access URL. Over under Name ID Format, we have to make sure that we're selecting SAML 2.0, either persistent or transient. And finally, under IDP Certificate, we need to select the certificate we just created, which is called Titan SSO. I'm going to hit Save. And the first thing we need to do, we need to head over to Manage and select Profiles that will be allowed to use SSO. So I'm going to click on Manage Profiles. And over here, I'm going to select all my profiles because I want to let all my users use SSO. So I selected all my profiles, and let's click on Save. So now you can see I have all my profiles under Profiles here. Next, we need to configure values that we will be passing back to our web project. So I'm going to click on New, and I'm going to pass back a session ID. This is the API session ID of the logged in user. This will allow us back in our web project to perform actions as our logged in user as opposed to the integration user that you have set up with Titan. So I'm going to click on Insert Field and under API, I'm going to find API Session ID and click Insert. The next thing I want to pass back is my logged in user's email. So I'm going to call this attribute email. I'm going to insert a new field. I'm going to select user, I'm going to find email, and hit insert. Now we're pretty much done on the Salesforce side. The only thing we need is to copy this login URL and paste it back here under login URL. And no spaces. Now earlier we downloaded a certificate and now we need it. So let's head over to our downloads folder. We can open this with any text reader. You can copy the certificate and paste it under certificate. Now, before we can apply, we need to hit test and see that we're successfully authenticated. And we are, so we can click on apply. So that's SSO setup. Now let's head over to a web project and configure it as a user access option. So from a dashboard, I'm going to select a web project. And what I want to do over here is obviously protect the project using SSL. But in addition, I want to put the user's email on this message here. So welcome back, user's email. So what I have set up is a global variable that will accept an email. And then we'll set the email to my text field. So let's head over to user access and enable SSL. Now we can click the little gear icon. And you see we're authenticated. And over here, under global variable email, I can select my email from my SSL. 
In addition, if I want to use the Salesforce session to perform actions, I can enable Use Salesforce Session up here and select my session ID. In my case, I don't want to do this, so I'm going to leave that off. So let's click Apply. And now if we publish our project, copy the URL, and open it in incognito, you'll see when I try to access my project, I'm requested to sign in with Salesforce. So I'm going to select my Salesforce credentials and click on Login. And there we go. I'm authenticated. I can access my project. And you can see I have a message here welcoming me back with my email. And that's how it's done.